Okay, um, here we go. What I want to do today is show you how to find the domain and range and determine if it if we have a function. I don't know what the if a function, uh, I think I was just getting a little lazy to tell you the truth, but we need to determine if it's a function, all right? So what I have here is I have a mapping. And remember, a mapping is just another way to re represent a relation between your input and your output. So to determine a, if it's a function, remember every every element or each element in our domain has to map or relate to exactly, correspond to exactly one element in the range. So what we need to first do is let's just list the domain and range because that's usually the easiest part to get started. And if you're having trouble remembering domain and range or um, if it's a function or not, just write out what the domain and range are. Domain is going to be your input. Well here it's actually the teacher. So we have teacher A, teacher B, teacher C, and teacher D. So I'm just going to list those in this set here. Then I have the range is the that the teachers teach, I assume. So we'll have science, math, and English. Okay, so remember the definition of domain is each element in your domain has to map to exactly one element in the range. So does D go to one element in the range? Yes, teacher D teaches English. Does C map to one element? Yes, teacher C also teaches English. Does B, does that map to one element? Yes, teacher B teaches math, and teacher A only maps to one element, teach um, science. So yes, this is a function. Now, the important for you to understand is I know that teacher C and teacher D both teach English, but that's okay. As long as they only teach one class, it is still a function because the definition only says they have as long as they just map to one other element in the range, we're all good. So there you go. Oops. So there you go. Hope uh, that definition um, of a function helped you out. Thanks.